So when you graduate, you probably are like, all right, I got this. Yeah. Now what? So I ended up just, um, I graduate, I start PAing, and I worked in... Did that? Did the school hook you up with that stuff, or did no. you have to... Okay. I just Craigslist, basically. Oh, really? And then, like, uh, a guy that my parents knew back at the Comedy Magic Club hired me as a PA after I'd been PAing other places for a while, and I ended up working him for him for a long time. What were you PAing on? Just random shoots or uh, movies or shows yeah, or Yeah, like commercial, a lot of commercials. Okay. I'd be, like, a driver on commercials. I'd worked on um, some reality shows. I ended up like my cr- uh, I worked on the opening film for the Oscars when Billy Crystal oh, was nice. like the, okay. was the host, and then I um, you got all these from Craigslist or you got no, one that, or two from Craigslist and then you had connections that led to yeah them. yeah okay. and then I ended up like leaning into a little bit of like family connections and getting this other job, but then I um, but after I left that job, I ended up. Just working on reality shows for 10 years. Wow. As a story producer. Okay. Story editor and then story producer, which is like you're the in the office person that watches the footage and assembles the narrative of the story. Right. Um, and I worked on a bunch of shows doing that. That was like my day job. And so, in how'd the, you fall into that? What was it? Was the... like one of those things I PA'd on was uh, Viva La Bam. Oh, okay. And, and uh, I was coordinator on it. I'd be like in charge of like protecting the jackass guys like on vacation or whatever getting them out of trouble but then it was like wait what oh yeah they, elaborate what does that mean like one time they like wrecked this i was like coordinating the shoot in vegas and they like ruined this room and it was like the cops were coming and i had to like hide in the room and and they ruined this you had to hide them or you I had to get, get them, them out of the estate oh, and I had to hide in the room so no one would come in and see the what they had done to the room. And I was like 23 years old. <laughs> um, Man, I, yeah, it was a lot up. of weird fucked up stuff like that. That's, and also, pro- that's producing though. Yeah. And they... Um, that's dark side. I had I had rented... So, you know, you watch... Do you ever watch that show? You know Bam's dad? Yeah, yeah. Phil, whatever. He's like big guy. Yeah. And they, Poor he want, guy. He, he wanted to wear an Elvis suit. And I rented the only... 6x elvis suit in all of las vegas it was handmade and and then i rented it on my own credit card because i didn't want them to know it was like for a shoot right and then they threw chocolate cake at it and ruined it no and i had to return it to the guy and i just started like crying because i felt so awful and then he offered me a job at the costume shop what (laughs) (laughs) the power of tears so I had a lot of that happening. And, and while I was doing those jobs, I was um, I was writing plays and producing them. Where at? at? Uh, all around Hollywood. Like, So you mentioned that was your day job, you said. So you were doing like what you wanted to do at night. This yeah. was almost just a, an odd job to pay the bills. Yeah, I was paying the bills. Okay. And my work friends were like... Psycho, psycho producers. Psychos. Because <laughs> you, you worked on The Bachelorette too, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I worked on The Bachelorette. Oh, I worked crazy. on Hell's Kitchen. It was Oh, crazy. that's a fun show though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it fun? It was fun. I didn't get to meet Gordon Ramsay. I came in late on oh. it. I don't know. Have, you, have you watched Unreal? Yeah. Is that what it's like back there? Yeah. Do you feel like... Th- it ruined my party trick. It legit ruined my party trick. What do you mean? I used to be able to tell secrets of The Bachelor at parties. Oh, and sure. then at one time I did and someone was like, you mean like on Unreal? And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so I had to were watch. You, were you like one of the ones that was taking the contestants and they were your horses? No, but I was in the control room. Oh, I would be scary. in the control room at... I'd be watching the footage, but then at like the night of the rose ceremony, I'd be in the mansion in the control room oh, watching scary. it all. And you'd have like a switcher and you'd be like listening in on everyone's conversations. It was so crazy. Um, wow. Yeah, it was really cool. And I, like all the time <laughs> I was doing UCB, I, I, that was my day job. And I thought it was like, I actually really appreciate that I got to actually listening to like people just talk for hours, like listening to footage of people speaking oh, yeah. naturally yeah. is really helpful. Of course. <laughs> it gets like like speech patterns in your brain and yeah. that are really natural. And like people that don't talk like you. Yeah. Different dialects. Yeah. Or dialects or just types of the way people express themselves differently. I don't know. Yeah. It's, hard to explain. it's a great study of people essentially. Yeah. Raw footage is fascinating. <laughs> 